Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Scott's Honest Reviews. Today, we are reviewing the Speed Pioneer. Now, this video um, is probably going to be uploaded on my car channel because it's car related. You know, it's RC, so anything that is car related goes on my car channel. So if you guys, if you guys are seeing this on Revline89 and you like product reviews, I actually have a YouTube channel with over 24,000 subscribers called Scott's Honest Reviews. I'll have the link in my video description where you guys can check that out. But anyway, if you guys are here to see the Speed Pioneer unboxing, this is the 118th scale four wheel drive electric vehicle and it claims it goes up to 30 miles an hour well you came to the right place because not only are you going to see an unboxing video but you're going to see us demonstrate it and give my final review on this so let's go ahead and let's get started and like always if you're interested you can find this product for a really good price in my video description um, in a lot of cases you can get it cheaper than searching it yourself because I try and find out the most cheapest price from the most safest sellers so let's see what we got so we got an owner's manual back here desert journey look at this little thing sandy land alright you know what I'm gonna do guys you know it you know I'm gonna do it I'm gonna mount a GoPro on here so we got a really cheap body it's not too big of a deal because you can actually make metal bodies for these um, it's actually not hard you buy just aluminum and then you uh, weigh it out and you can actually do you can do all kinds of cool things with this but man that's that's a nice looking truck look at this guys wouldn't you say that's a nice looking truck wow so yeah it's supposed to go 30 miles an hour can you believe that alright so here we go. Looks like they supply some of the AA batteries and everything. Um, so you got some extra hooks. Looks like you got a little tool, batteries, another, you got a little Phillips driver. Here looks like the charging for the battery. Um, here's the controller. Just a cheap controller. You got um, steering rate, throttle, trim, steering trim N and R so I don't know if that's neutral and reverse on off and here's how you control the speed or no how you turn it I guess um, that's cheaply made it, it's it's cheaply made but the reviews have been really good on it and the other videos have been awesome on it so I don't know if the batteries charge or not so we're going to pull these pins out and see if they charge the batteries from factory because then we could give give a direct demonstration but even if they're not charged I will go ahead and charge it and you guys will jump right into into seeing it run and we'll jump right into uh, our review so it's got suspension on it overall it's really nice Okay, oh, so it's actually got, already got a battery in it, so you get two batteries, and they're doubled, so it's, you get like quad batteries. Um, can you hook up, oh, can you actually run, can you run dual, dual batteries? Is that how it's set up or not? I don't know. That's kind of, okay. Um, off? on on off okay so there's like an on off switch underneath here um okay let's go ahead and put the batteries in here and give this a shot here so i don't know if you need batteries anywhere else but On the box it says, super motor high speed. I wonder if it really does 30 miles an hour. If it does, that's pretty crazy for just a little cheap electric thing. So, on. So 
So, okay, we're going to have to, let's turn it off and off. We're going to want to, now let's just go up down in here. Oh, they kind of put this, oh, okay, I see. I see, you take off this pin here and lifts this up. Okay, that should pop out like that. So that one's not connected. Oh uh, no, you can only run one battery at a time, it looks like. Now I wonder if the one they had in is charged or not, so we're going to plug this in. Turn it on. We're going to turn this on. Whoa! Holy moly! Okay! That's got some torque! Jeez! That is in that's crazy the torque that thing just had. Wow, okay, um <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was honestly not expecting that torque. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. What's this one for though? Why is there white? What's the white supposed to be plugged into? Cause you see is that for charging? Oh okay, that's to charge the battery. Okay, I gotcha. We could actually set this thing up that we can have it connected to all, always charge. Um, we might do that, but for now, let's go ahead. We're, let's turn everything off and put the plate back on here. Put this charging back up through here. So, yeah, this is crazy. For such a little thing. That's. Oh, we forgot to put that back down in. So we put it in wrong here. You want to lift this up. You want to put this. Yeah, you want to put this underneath in here. And then put it back down. So give support. Okay. Um, look at that little motor. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this thing is really, really cool. So we're going to actually charge this other battery while we go test run this. Thing. Um, so let's find a USB here. So when you plug the battery in, it shows red and green blinks for charging the battery. Um, let's go ahead and Put the body back on. Like I said, you you guys could probably could build you know a much sturdier body. This is really cheap body. You could embrace you know brace the body as well, but it's not really a big deal unless you start ramping and and go crazy with this. If you're gonna start ramping, then you might want to get a bigger body. And I've seen guys. Okay, why is it not going? Where's the pinhole? There it is. I've seen guys uh, put on full protection armor on these things, and also guys have done waterproof kits where they actually seal everything off so they can literally drive underwater. It is so cool what some people have done with these little cars. Right, so we went ahead and got little our little plastic housing for our GoPro Hero 4, and what we're going to do is stick it on here so we're gonna take this tape off the only downfall I'm gonna say will be um, this body you know it's cheaply made so flimsy now we don't want okay so that's gonna be a problem already we could do it on top but I thought we'd have better support back here but we might have to mount this on top because on the back here it looks like the pins are going to be in the way. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So, we're going to mount it on top for now. And, yeah, this, this plastic body is very cheap. But that's all right. You know, for the price, you know, it's a great price. There we go. So, we got the GoPro mount right there. All right, so we're gonna drive it for a while and then we're gonna see if we can launch it off 
of our steps is probably gonna break like the first time um, but that's after we drive it for a little while we're, we're gonna test this little thing out so I'm excited hope you guys are So it actually does wheelies. If it can get traction, look at that. Look at that thing, it actually does wheelies. Thirty miles an hour, I, oh it almost crashed there. I highly, de well maybe on a full battery. Man that GoPro is going for a nice little ride. Can we do a wheelie here? So the grass is a little wet. Only bad thing is, can we reverse? Oh, wow. Okay, what if we do this? So there's two modes here. And you can adjust a lot of things here. Okay, now we change a setting. Oh, no! So, there, like I said, there's all these little things you can change. I don't know what this one does. Oh, you can set the speed. So that one sets the speed, the center one. So the center one right here sets your speed. So we put that maximum. It's pretty quick though. I don't know what a full charge would do.
on the speed. You can roll this. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, this thing is so much fun, guys. See, like I said, uh, with enough speed, you can, but you can change your steering. I mean, this thing's taking a beating and it's doing good. All right, how about we see something here? Oh boy, I don't know, guys. This is gonna be interesting. That was a fail. And look at this thing, it's still going. Whoa, did you see that? Our GoPro got knocked down. So we got some stones out back. We're gonna head out back. I can give my honest opinion on this thing. This thing gets a 10 out of 10. Battery's lasting extremely long. This thing is handling things really well. Speed's good, don't know if it's 30 miles an hour, but it definitely to your eye seems pretty cool. Um, yeah, overall I'm extremely pleased with it. You can brake, you can reverse. <laughs> so yeah, it gets a 10 out of 10 all day long. Since we were driving in the grass and it was kind of wet, we're now going to go and clean this thing up, take Q-tips around the rims and stuff, and get it cleaned up, take, take everything off. Um, yeah, super, super happy with this. Link's in the video description where you guys can get this exact same one, and I, I recommend you guys stopping what you're doing and getting one. Tons of fun for adult and for children.